Mr. President, if, if you're going to contradict me, I ought to have a chance to. Uh, yeah, you, to you, you, the Congressional Budget Office report says that premiums will rise in the individual market as no. a result of the Senate bill. No, 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 no. Let, let, let me, let, and this is, this is an example of where we've got to get our facts straight. That's my uh, point. Well, no, well, exactly. So let me, <laughs> let me respond to what you just said, Lamar, because it's not factually accurate. Here's what the Congressional Budget Office says. The costs for families for the same uh, type of coverage as they're currently receiving would go down 14 to 20 percent. What the Congressional Budget Office says is, is that because now they've got a better deal, because uh, policies are cheaper, they may choose to buy better coverage than they have right now. And that might be 10 to 13 percent more expensive than the bad insurance that they had previously. But they didn't say that the actual premiums would be going up. What they said was they'd be going down by 14 to 20 percent. I, and I, I promise you, I've, I've gone through this carefully with the Congressional Budget Office. And I'll be happy to present this to the press and whoever's listening, because this is an important issue. Well, may I? They, may, they, may they, I let, 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 me, let, me, let me just finish, Lamar. Now, the, what we've done is we've tried to take every single cost containment idea that's out there. Every proposal that health care economists say will reduce health care costs, we've tried to adopt uh, in the various proposals. There are some additional ideas that Republicans have presented that we think are interesting and we also try to include. So let me give you an example. You mentioned the idea of buying across state lines insurance. That's something that I've put in my proposal that's actually in the Senate proposal. I think that it shows some promise. Uh, you mentioned that, you know, as uh, that Mike Enzi has previously said, that he's interested in small businesses being able to pool in the equivalent of some sort of exchange. So that's where there's some overlap. Uh, but I, I just think it's very important to understand that what we've done is to try to take every single cost containment idea that's out there and try to adopt it in this bill. What I'd like to do is to see if we can proceed and set, you know, have a very concrete conversation about what are the ideas that you guys have that you don't think are in our bill to contain costs. And what I want to do is to see if maybe we can adopt some of those or refine what we've already done in order to further reduce costs. Mr. President, um, I've had and my what I'd time. like to do also <laughs> is to make sure that you maybe suggest some of the ideas that are currently in the bill that you think are good. Uh, because, Lamar, in your opening introduction, what I saw was, you know, sort of a, uh, uh, the usual critique of, of why you thought it was bad. But as I said, we've adopted a lot of the ideas that uh, we've heard from your side of the aisle. So I hope maybe you could say, well, those are the ones that we think are good ideas. Here are the things that we think are bad ideas, as opposed to just painting in broad brush. Go ahead. Mr. President, let me, uh, let me show some respect for my colleagues here. They're all here mm -hmm. eager to speak, all sure they could do a better job than I could on any of these points. And what I would like to do is get back directly to you with why I believe, with respect, you're wrong about the bill. your bill would increase premiums, I believe. You say it wouldn't. So rather than argue with you in public about it, I'd like to put my facts down, give them to you. Maybe other colleagues will say that. As far as Mike Enzi's proposal, he's ready to talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, 